Hello guys, I hope you're all fine. Today we are here to discuss about company and its features. So let's get into, th- get into the topic. Here, company means it is a legal organization. It is formed by a group of people to engage in business. Let's talk about the features. The first one is corporate body. It should be listed under the Company Act 2013. Whereas the next one is separate legal entity, which means company exists separately from its shareholders and members. Whereas the next one is limited liability which means members of the company are not responsible for the debts of the company. Where the next one is transferability of shares. If in public com- public limited company, shareholders can transfer their shares as per the rules in the articles of the association. Whereas in the private limited company, there may be some restrictions in order to transfer the shares. Whereas the next one is common seal. Here there should be a common seal that can be used for representing the decisions made on the behalf of the company. Whereas the next one is perpetual succession, which means the factors like death, insolvency, or retirement of any member does not impact the company's status. Whereas the next one is number of members. As per the Company Act 2013, the number of members required to start in public limited company is 7 minimum and maximum it can be unlimited. Whereas in the private company limited, the maximum number of people required are 2 members. Whereas I mean the minimum are 2 members whereas the maximum are 200 members. This is all about the company and its futures under Indian Company Act 2013. I hope you understand guys. Thank you.